ante un pueblo entero lleno de angustia, luchando por su digna patria, lograda con el coraje, desgarrando cada día con sus principios éticos, el vil imperio, su adversario político, que siempre ha combinado el engaño con la ignorancia para darse a conocer a toda voz, pero el mundo conoce su verdadero rostro, porque cuando un pueblo enérgico y viril llora, la injusticia tiembla. is the United States of America. And one of the reasons I struggle so hard for the Cuban Five and for Cuba in general is that I'm one of the few Americans who have been so lucky to be able to go to Cuba, to be able to meet the people, to be able to see what it actually is like. And going to Cuba has made me a better human being. And I for people in the United States to know. But you know what? If your shoe breaks like this, you don't have to throw it away. You can glue it. You know? And, and if the United people in the way for so long, and guess what? They never do it. You know, people emailed me shortly after Obama was elected and said, Cindy, you got to tell Obama to stop drone bombing. I'm like, when has the president ever listened to me? If the president listened to me, he wouldn't be drone bombing in the first place, right? So I call on once again the government of the United States to break with tradition and do the right thing. Sure. You know, there, there could be a first time for everything, right? No, no, no. Let's have the first time to do the right thing would be to release uh, the heroes that are in U.S. prison right now immediately. No nice little, oh please, request. No, we demand that, they, that, the, that the U.S. government do the right thing for once and release the Cuban Five. And so hello again, my government who doesn't pay attention to me or anybody like me. But you know what? There's more and more of us and we're growing and we're a growing movement and pretty soon they're not going to be able to ignore us. But I want to be here and say I want justice for the five. But I want justice for my son too. I want justice for the millions of people killed since 9-11 in the U.S. war of terror against the world. I cried yesterday when I think it was Jose read about how Livio's brother was killed in um, Cuba and how her, his mother died without seeing justice. That made me cry. And how his murderer said, oh, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I sleep well at night. Sleep like a baby. Well, these maniacs, all of them sleep like babies. George Bush and Dick Cheney and Condoleezza Rice and Donald Rumsfeld and now our new imperialists that are infesting Washington, D.C. and poisoning the world and murdering the world. They sleep like babies, too. You know what I do when I go to Washington, D.C.? At midnight, I take a bullhorn to the fence. And I say, wake up! You know, get up! End the wars! Free political prisoners! If I can't sleep, and if Livio's mother couldn't sleep, then they can't sleep either. And we have to be, you know, we can demand justice, but we also have to be the ones that deliver justice, too. Because these maniacs might ever go to nightmare, so let be their nightmare. Thank you.
And that's why we're protesting here today. We are demonstrating on one of many, many issues that affect the people of the world. And today is why we're protesting for the Cuban Five. They are the most honorable men that you could never, ever even approach. And you know who they are. They're those who infiltrated themselves into the terrorist organizations in Miami, who were so disciplined and so determined that they spent years inside of these terrorist, fascist organizations, passing along the information that literally saved lives while you were financing the terrorists by hundreds of millions of dollars and arming them and welcoming them when they came back in from the cold after trying to assassinate the great leader Fidel Castro in Panama. You welcomed them at the airport and then let them free in Miami. And that's why we're here today, because everywhere around the world, in 113 countries, on September 12th, on the 14th anniversary, of the unjust arrest of the Cuban Five, we demonstrated and showed there's a worldwide movement for the Five, and they will be free. <laughs> now, every political prisoner of the United States has suffered. Some have suffered decades, like those who were 40 years in South Korean jail. In front of the White uh, House. And I wanted to tell you that it's so inspiring to be in front of the, in this case, in front of the consulate, uh, U.S. consulate in Canada, I think that we need to continue doing this type of activities. I know it happened in Vancouver every month. I just wanted to tell you that, uh, and I know you know, the Cuban Five are not just five Cuban heroes. They're heroes of the entire world. The entire world of people that fight for a better world. The Cuban Five represent that to all of us. And the only reason they are in prison is because they're Cubans, and not other reasons than that. So we demand the freedom of the five. I just wanted to mention to you that just recently we were with Rafael Cancel Miranda, an independentist fire, a fighter uh, in, uh, from Puerto Rico. And he is a living example that we can free political prisoners. He was in prison for 25 years, and we hope that's not what is going to happen to the Cuban Five, but he was, be, he was released because of international pressure. So let's continue our pressure and demand the U.S. government, the biggest terrorist in the world today, to free the Cuban Five. Free the Cuban Five now! Free! Free! Free the Five! Free the Five now! Alicia, thank you very much for, for uh, uh, extemporaneously filling in for Tony. Um, this brings to a conclusion uh, a rather uh, uh, contracted uh, rally. As, you, as most of you present here are part of the People's Tribunal and Assembly, you will know that we have much more work to do this afternoon. So, we're going to end the rally now. Thank you for coming out and expressing your solidarity and your anger to the Empire uh, and to demand uh, freedom for the five. We ask you to grab a quick uh, bite and to return no later than 2 p.m. Precisamente. We will reconvene at 2 p.m. That gives you about 43 minutes. So thank you very much, and we will see you back at the conference. Thank you. Free, free, free the five, free the five now. Free, free, free the five, free the five now. Free, free, free the five, free the five now. Free, free, free the five, free the five now. Free, free, free the five. Luchando por su digna patria, lograda con el coraje, desgarrando cada día con sus principios éticos, el vil imperio, su adversario político, que siempre ha combinado el engaño con la ignorancia para darse a conocer a toda voz. Pero el mundo conoce su verdadero rostro, porque cuando un pueblo enérgico y viril llora, la injusticia tiembla.